Hi there, so I've got um, four activities. Once you know that you can pat your ball two times with one hand, or at least two times, then this is the activity that, um, some activities that I'm gonna have you work on. So the first thing that we're gonna work on is called dribble fitness. And what you do is you try to pat your ball as many times as you can with one hand, and when you, you count how many, and when it rolls away, that's okay, you go get it, you bring it back, and then you're gonna do what we call mini jumps. You're gonna put the ball up above your head, and if I got two dribbles, I'm gonna do two mini jumps. So I'm gonna go jump, jump, and then I can try dribbling again. So here we go. I'm gonna try dribbling with my hand. Oop, it went away after two. I'm gonna catch it. Two mini jumps, one, two. Now I can try it again. One, two, three, four. Oop, I lost it after four. So I'm gonna come back, four mini jumps, one, two, three, four. I'm not gonna try to jump super high. One, two, three, oop, went away after three this time. Coming back, three mini jumps. And you can keep doing that so that you get lots of practice of dribbling your ball with one hand. And then as you get better, and as you can get more in a row, you're gonna play a game called seven dribbles. And so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick a spot in the area that you're playing in. Obviously I'm going in a pretty small area, so I stay in the camera but you can go you know, a long way, however much space you've got, and find a spot. Let's say this is my spot, and I get to my spot, I'm gonna dribble it seven times in a row, and I have to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I can catch it and move to a different spot. So now I can go to my spot over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I would go on, and I choose another spot, and I could do my seven dribbles. So seven dribbles is another game that I can do all around my space. Um, next one that I can do is I can try to not only use my favorite hand, but I can try to take turns with my other hand. So I could do my seven dribbles again, but instead of going with, I was going with my right hand, now I'm gonna go with my left hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, and you can do that on dribble fitness too. You can try to use the other hand. And then once you have some experience with the other hand, and again, remember you can stop the video at any time so that you can practice for a much longer time. And then you can come back when you're ready to move on. So as long as I have some experience using either hand, I can actually try to bounce with one hand and then the other hand. And my hands can take turns to bounce. So that way I'm getting some practice with each of my hands because that's going to be useful when I come to play basketball. Make sure I did all of the ones that I told you about on the slides. I'm going to check my, oh, there's one more. And the last one is called the balance dribble. And what we're going to do is with our other hand, and it's good actually to do this one before you try alternating your hands, but you're going to use something, I'm outside, so I got, and it's a little windy, so a piece of paper wasn't going to work very well. So I'm gonna use a, a rock that I picked up on the ground. So I'm gonna balance a rock in one hand and dribble my ball with the other hand. This is gonna remind me that I'm using one hand and not two hands. So this might be a good one to do early on. And then when you catch it, I'm gonna switch. Now I can balance my ball, my rock in the other hand. And now I'm gonna balance, bounce with this hand. So remember, I'm patting it like a dog and not slapping it, and then bouncing it about waist high. There we go. So waist high, I'm patting it, I'm trying to use my fingertips to push it down. There we go. All right, and that is our dribbling with one hand.